What's up, everybody? This is Sean with Face Down. We are at Warp Tour 2011 in Denver, and we are with uh, two guys from I Set My Friends on Fire. And you are? I'm Matt. And what do you do, Matt? I do vocals for I Set My Friends on Fire. I'm Joe, and I play guitar and sometimes do vocals. Excellent. Now, why did you guys decide to set, to set your friends on fire? Just because uh, it got us high and um, made us feel good. I never usually have an appetite, so it helps me eat, helps me sleep, and increases my uh, sex drive. And um, yeah, just pack it in a pack them in a bowl and light them up. Any feedback on that one? It's <laughs> exactly what I was gonna say, word for word. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, now, is, is this your first Warp Tour that you guys have been played? Uh, our first Warp Tour was actually 2009, and um, yeah, that was the only one. This is our second. Hopefully, it would do more. That'd be sick. And you guys are currently signed on Epitaph Records. Uh, how did that come about? Matt? Uh, yeah, I'm actually the only original member that's like signed to Isenfoff, but. Uh, we, uh, we put out like a cover, of, like a Soldier Boy cover. It got pretty big online on MySpace, and uh, then we put out like three original songs, and those got as many hits as the cover. And uh, so Epitaph noticed that, and they emailed us, and they said they wanted wanted to make us an offer. And it was after only four months of being a band online, and we'd never we'd never played a show before. So they signed us for playing a show and only being four months like in a band. So how's this uh, this this warp tour going for you guys? Uh, we're getting pretty good responses. I don't see any of the fan base dropping. I see it like actually kind of increasing which is pretty cool. Like, like towards the end of this tour there's more people coming to see us. So we're pretty happy. Now, uh, what do you guys have in the works as far as future-wise? Uh, any new albums that you guys are working on? Any other tours besides Warp Tour? Uh, yeah, there's going to be a European tour. It starts at the end of September. Let's talk of a Dance Gavin dance tour. Keep my fingers crossed that it still pans out. And uh, good dudes. I like them. Um, and then the sky is the limit. <laughs> Well, hopefully we can uh, collaborate on some things that we can't discuss over uh, video, but hopefully we can work on some things with you guys in the future. Um, definitely uh, very uh, promising stuff. Um, now, what can your fans expect as far as future-wise? Um, future-wise. And uh, what are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on uh, Ashton and Kutcher taking uh, Charlie Sheen's spot on Two and a Half Men? <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know about that. But I do know about something else. Celine Diane. <laughs> I didn't say it. Uh, She's dead. Wait, wait what did you say? Celine, Celine Dion is dead. Did she actually die? She died today? Yeah. Really? Yeah, she's like 27. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to make that show not nearly as cool. I definitely agree about that. I wish Charlie would stay away from the uh, Coke and the hookers. And no, no, but that's what makes him cool. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but some CBS, you know, CBS doesn't think that. But uh, I definitely thank you guys for taking the time to uh, do this. Uh, you guys definitely kick some ass. Uh, it's definitely a pleasure, and uh, hopefully we can uh, work on some stuff in the future. Uh, face Down is out.